Hey YouTubers, Electric Adventures here with uh, another little package video. This is actually a, um, well, I've already taken the outer wrapping out and it comes with a EEPROM chip here. Which is not going to go into focus. I think that maybe I need to clean my webcam or something. Um, just open this up. So this relates to a system that I only just got recently. Well, very well packaged. Yes, and it comes with some labels. So here are the labels, which will give you a better idea. So it's SC3000 Survivors Mark II Multicart. And he's um, sent through two labels. Um, and here's the device here. need to find a donor shell to put this in. Um, but here's the components. Go on camera, you can work it out. No. Damn thing. Oh, almost. In front of my face, maybe. Tried. Really not having much luck there, are we? But anyway, um, as you can see, it's got a reset switch, which is why there's that um, hole in the um, in the front. And our ROMs here, we have um, ROM zero standard mix, ROM one version two point two seven tapes menu. So it's a standard bit of software that comes with it. Um, and I can replace the ROM zero with this flash ROM here. So this will allow me to, because what I'm planning on doing is I'm not only going to um, produce my own games on MSX cartridges because um, they were only available on tape back in the day, that, that's all I could do. Um, I'm going to make a compilation of most of my smaller um, old machine code games on one cartridge and then I'm going to have um, another cartridge with Pixidis and Pixidis extended, or Pixidis uh, one and a half. Um, depends on how I go with the enhancement. So um, the enhance. So I always deliver the version exactly as it was back in the day for nostalgia. Um, but I always in, uh, also include an enha enhanced version because uh, back then I did most of the development using a tape-based system and w was very limited on the amount of memory. Um, and plus I had no tools. Um, to help write music and things like that. Whereas nowadays I can um, put some music together um, and actually use some tools to encode it and then just play it back with a bit of um, assembly code. So whereas back then all, you know, uh, the odd zap or um, simple little tune that I put in something like um, uh, the Munch Mania game, um, I wasn't able to put much sound in. So I put in enhanced ones in and also uh, for the game like Pixidis, um, I designed three full levels, uh, but I could only fit two and three quarter levels, and I had no room to vary the bosses at the end of the levels either. So the enhanced version of Pixidis will actually include, um, um, you know, different types of alien ships and different end bosses, music, um, high score table, just little enhancements like that. Um, and of course, my other game, which was never finished, called Cavern Fighter, which is pretty much a, um, a version of Scramble, um, will go on a cartridge by itself. So I'm going to produce three cartridges, um, but I'm also, to make it worth my while, and to spread them around, I'm going to make versions for the Sega SG-1000 and SC-3000, and also the ColecoVision. So the exact same cartridges will be on all three, the versions should be pretty much identical. Um, Obviously, the music will sound a little better on the on the um, MSX, but I'm not going to go to too much trouble and 
yeah, I'm, I'm still not sure how I'll go in making the music, so uh, I may reach out and see if I can contact some people to um, to work with on the music part of things. But they will be enhanced. Hmm. So anyway, here's the multicart. Um, probably the best way to show this is to go play over the in one of the machines that I got recently. So let's go give it a go, and we can keep talking about it during that. Right here we go with the SC3000 Survivors cartridge. Um, so we have tape software, Basic 3B. So it's got an actual copy of the Basic 3B on there, so you can leave it, leave this cartridge in there. Um, a music editor, VGM music tracks, interesting. ROMs Bank Zero auto scan. So. Oh, well, we've actually got a few things on here. So, um, oh, there's quite a few interesting things on there. So, let's try one of my favourites. Let's plug a joystick in. And let's see how we go. Not too bad. Okay, there we go. It's already looking quite a good colourful version of Choplifter. Can we get those tanks? So it's um, not a bad version of um, Choplifto. More guys there. Let's see if we can get our first load of survivors sorted out. Lots of tanks. Oh, yeah, there's the place we're executing them from. Ooh, that was close. Okay. So it actually plays quite well. Alright, I'll um, move on, we'll just have a quick look at some of the other stuff on the system. Alright, press the reset button on the card, no. No. Turning off, back on again. Let's have a look what's in the other bank. Oh yeah, Black Onyx is an adventure game, so there's an English version of that, which is quite interesting. Um, Gunsmoke, Gunsmoke Infinite Lives. Here we go, Xevious. There we go, written for Zimmer's and imported. So this is a homebrew. See what it's like. Ooh. 
music's a bit um, <laughs> of an acquired taste. It's alright. It's not the best version of Xevious I've seen, so let's try one more. It looks like not a bad uh, multi card. Um, hang on, let's have a look what it says in its tape software. So these would be all those games probably on those um, on those tapes. So here we've got magazines homebrew. There we go, we can't not run a game called Star Wars. So in my Sega magazine, so this would have been like a typed in listing. I'd be interested to see what it does graphic wise. Puts up basic and loads it. Multi cart works quite well. Bit of line drawing. with some Australian touches. Hmm. Uh, no, we'll skip to instructions. A fair attendance of music and basic. I don't think we can skip it. Usually these um driven stuff in these basics so Bad um, little um, title there. Okay. Let's try one more thing. Um, A lot of, um, you know, quite a few games and didn't know about uh, this one. I've played this one before. This was available on the um, MSX as well. Yeah, by Jail Car. Not a bad little shooting up. Interesting use of um, of uh, landscape. It actually, probably got the contrast on this TV set up a bit too high. It actually looks better on the capture than it does on the screen I'm looking at. must have been reasonably popular because they, they produced a second one on the MSX they did anyway. The great thing about it 
this one is that it has so much level variety. Oops, uh, I really need to adjust that contrast. Nope, and I'm gone. So there we go, a multi card for the Sega SE 3000. Um, now the gentleman who does them can make up limited numbers of more, so he's not totally out of the parts. Um, he's actually trying to make um, case bolts. So um, obviously they're EEPROM, so they do need to be kept out of the light. So I will be sacrificing a cartridge when I get enough cartridges <clears throat> and get a duplicate um, of a game I don't like. It might, be, it might take me a little while, so I'll make sure I keep it in a box in the meantime. Um, but anyway, he's producing some case shells and we'll be able to produce them in numbers um, in a short while um, and then I'll tee up with him once I get my games converted over and we might get some Sega SC3000 um, and SG1000 cartridges of Electric Adventure Games. Alright, thank you for listening to my ramblings and I'll catch you all next time. Thank you.